and I would just be looking at him like, I'm so annoyed at you. La, 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 la. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle Burr. I am currently 26 weeks pregnant with my first baby. He is arriving in February of 2021. My approximate due date is February 17th. I do symptom updates, bump updates every two weeks, and let me tell you, if you've been following along with my updates, you are gonna die whenever you see my bump at the end of this video. It is crazy what two weeks just did for my bump, but I'm really loving looking, like actually looking pregnant. I have so many products that I've bought in the past two weeks. A lot of them are like nursery stuff, so I don't think I'm gonna show them now like individually i think i'm gonna do just like a nursery tour video and show you like where i got things and stuff like that so in this video i'm going to show you products that i got probably not even all of them because i just have so much and if you watch me regularly like my day in the life vlogs i show a lot of stuff that i get for the baby there and if you follow me on instagram i also show a lot of the stuff that i get for the baby there so let's go ahead and get started with my symptoms so 24 weeks was awesome we went to my in-laws to celebrate my husband's birthday we did halloween with them we also did our very first 3d ultrasound so i turned 24 weeks i turn over every wednesday and then that friday so 24 weeks and two days we did our first 3d ultrasound i know that 24 weeks is a little early but we actually did get to see the baby's face He's still pretty skinny, hasn't put on a lot of blubber yet in the pictures. I would love to see what he looks like now at 26 weeks, just two weeks later. But it was such a good experience to do like with my in-laws and just them be at an ultrasound and see him moving and you know, just see what he looks like. So I have those pictures that I wanna share with you. We got a whole bunch of pictures, but I'm just gonna show you what I feel like is the easiest to like decipher. So before I show you his face, I'm gonna show you this boy. Hello. Sorry. This boy has been in the same position the whole time. I don't know if you saw my anatomy scan pictures, but literally it was so hard to get my anatomy scan done because he is folded like a sandwich. Like he's literally just folded in half so his feet are always up by his forehead and this time at the anatomy scan he had his hands in front of his face i'm like of course we do the 3d ultrasound with my in-laws and our family there and he hides his face the whole time but that's okay we were able to sneak a couple pictures but this is the gist of his position the whole time so in case it's kind of hard for you to tell what you're looking at this is his head but like a side shot of his head and then you have his arm his little elbow and then his fist is coming up like covering his face and then his body is down here and then y'all this is a leg and a foot so his toes are right next to his fist in front of his face and he has been in that ball literally the entire time when people are like oh my gosh you're so tiny you know like going into your third trimester your belly's so tiny i'm like yeah because this boy will not spread out it's literally like i have a little ball of baby inside of me um but i think he's you know utilizing the room in my belly a little more this past week my bump really started to pop and he's like really doing some big movements and then we got this very quick, I don't know how she managed to get it. He moved his arm for like two seconds like that. And then she snapped the picture and then he like went back. He's just such a little turd already. But this is what we were able to get of his little face. So I don't know if you can tell an eye, an eye, his little nose and his little mouth. Ugh, I can't get enough of the nose and the mouth. So I will say they look pretty freaky in the 3D ultrasound pictures. They look really freaky in the 3D ultrasound pictures, but it's a good experience and I'm glad that we got to see him. He looks just like my husband, even though he's like not fully developed, not had put, you know, fat on his cheeks, 
looks a little bit alienish. He resembles my husband a lot. And I see a little bit of my brother in there as well. So those are the two pictures that I'm gonna show from our 3D ultrasound. I can't wait to see him in real life. I still at 24 weeks was having a killer, killer, killer heartburn. But I ordered the alkaline, like, dissolvable drink packets from Young Living. If you use Young Living, you probably know what alkaline is. It's basically a Alka-Seltzer, but without the aspirin in it and all that stuff. Because when you're pregnant, you can't have Alka-Seltzer because it adds aspirin and probably other things that are not so good for you in it. But the alkaline is safe during pregnancy because it's literally just the mineral essence that kind of puts the fire out for heartburn. So I will take the alkaline before I eat something that I know might trigger my heartburn a little bit. And then I'll do the alkaline before bed if I feel like it's gonna be one of those nights where I like jolt up with heartburn gurgling. And actually, I haven't had severe heartburn like I was having ever since I started the alkaline. I will do the alkaline and my heartburn tea from now on. That has been like the concoction that has been helping me. So really that's all that happened at 24 weeks. It's not like tons of symptoms and stuff to talk about, but big things happen. Like the 3D ultrasound, his kicks are getting bigger. My in-laws got to see my baby bump. And yeah, so it was literally the most fun week of the pregnancy. And then 25 weeks, I put big old belly. So I'm telling you in the past week, I noticed that he, I mean, I look pregnant and I love actually looking pregnant because I feel like before it was, it looked like I just put on some weight, got chunky, like it was a little confusing. And I noticed like people in public, people in stores, when I would like get my pedicure or whatever, like they didn't know exactly and like didn't know really like how to ask me, <laughs> but they wanted to ask because they probably wanted to be like, oh fun, congratulations, you know? So it's just, clear now so I like being in that stage and then I put that I started getting randomly annoyed for no reason and I know this has to be hormones but at 25 weeks this is happening and I hadn't experienced it yet I thought for sure I would be like the craziest in my first trimester but it makes sense because my hormones are just increasing 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 until I give birth and for some reason at 25 weeks, I was annoyed for literally no reason. Like I remember Matt would be like telling me just a simple story or like just talking about something so simple. And I would just be looking at him like, I'm so annoyed at you, <laughs> like for no reason. And I would just be like, okay, don't be a bitch. Don't be snappy. Don't be rude. You're, it's your hormones. Like he's literally just living his life, eating and breathing and because he's the only one that's with me right now, I'm like annoyed at him. So I never told him that. I never, like, I never lashed out at him or made him feel like crap. I never told him, like, I'm really annoyed. Could you leave me alone or shut up or whatever? I, but I acknowledged that I was like randomly feeling that way and just kind of moved on from it. And I would say that that probably happened twice in my 25th week, but lately, I don't know, lately, like my 25th, 26 week, I've, I felt like off, like mood wise, which was really weird for me. Not like crying or um, angry or uh, like whatever. It, it wasn't like extreme emotions. I just felt like, ugh, like agitated, annoyed, like, like things would like trigger me, like set me off and like make me super sassy. Um, and I hadn't experienced that before. I also, randomly in the 25th week got so tired and I'm pretty sure that I did a vlog on this if it's not posted yet it's gonna be my next vlog I got so tired and felt fatigued but I'm I'm only 25 weeks and so I don't know if it's too early to be that tired like it kind of scares me because I know at the end of your third trimester or like well into your third trimester you get pretty tired because your belly's so big but my belly's not really that big I mean it's growing I finally look like super pregnant but it's not like I'm like toting around this big belly yet that hasn't happened yet so I'm like why am I so tired I had a few days where I was so beyond tired like just yesterday I came home at like 1 30 I felt like I had been hit by a ton of bricks I like allowed myself to lay down next thing I know I'm waking up at 5 30 in the afternoon like Matt's about to get home from work the last time I looked at the clock it was 1 30 
and I was so disoriented and just like, holy crap. I mean, I slept like it was a night of sleep, like a night's sleep. And then I was worried that I would be up all night, but I actually went to bed at my normal time and woke up at eight o'clock in the morning and slept through the night. So I have just been so tired and so exhausted. Hopefully it's just like starting the 26th week and it's gonna go away. Like hopefully it's like a symptom that fluctuates. I'm feeling pretty good today after like sleeping a whole bunch, so we'll see. Um, I also think that I experienced a Braxton Hicks for the first time. Um, which I know that Braxton Hicks can start around this time, but I would just rather not have them. I know that they're not like bad. It's definitely not like a sign that the baby's gonna come anytime soon. They're, I, I haven't even had like them frequently. I think I experienced it once, maybe twice for like just very short amount of time. Um, in like a span of days like this is not like a constant thing. It's just like a oh, that's weird It felt like he was almost like pushing up on my belly like his head Or his back was like pushing up on my belly because I'd be like ooh, like the tension The tightness and I would feel that spot on my belly and it would actually feel like the muscle or whatever was like actually pretty like tight and hard Maybe it could be him pressing up against me. Um, I don't know if it has anything to do with my anterior placenta, but I do remember experiencing that once and being like, whoa, that's weird. No pain, no nothing. Nothing painful, nothing sore, nothing frequent, nothing like that. I just think that I probably experienced a Braxton Hicks for the first time, but let me know if you had Braxton Hicks or if you did when you started experiencing Braxton Hicks, which it's crazy because I just had an OB-GYN appointment. I had an OB-GYN appointment last week. Wait, was it this week? Maybe it was this past Monday. Today's Friday. When did I have my OB-GYN appointment? I think it was Monday. I went to my OB-GYN appointment and they asked me for the first time, like, you know, they walk in and they're like, are you doing good? Any spotting, any bleeding, any cramping? And I'm like, no, no, no. And for the first time the nurse said, are you having Braxton Hicks? And I just said, no, not. And then literally like two, three days later, I felt that tight sensation. So it does give me a little peace of mind that they asked and that could be like completely normal. I do have my glucose test in two weeks. It's the Tuesday before Thanksgiving that I have my glucose test and I don't know they kind of made it sound like I do the glucose and then they just take my blood and then I leave. I don't know if I get an ultrasound. I'm like really praying that I get an ultrasound, but I feel like I won't. I don't know if I get to see the doctor, um, but I probably will just casually mention to the nurse that I experienced Braxton Hicks just so they could like put it on my chart that I experienced it. Or I'm going to describe it to her and like just see what she says. But anyways, that was something else. Um, and then something that's mentionable that kind of stinks is cycle class is getting a little more difficult for me just because I'm short. So I already like my arms are short. So I need the handlebars to be like pretty close to me and I need the seat to be a little high because I'm short. I feel like whenever I like go to reach the handlebars now, it's like super obvious that there's a belly in the way. So I can't do that for very long so I just like have to sit up and do whatever they're doing. I don't know technically when I need to like stop cycling. I know if I ask my ob Jen if I need to stop cycling she's gonna say no and she's gonna tell me to listen to my body so I could just hear her being like if you feel bad stop cycling if you feel good keep cycling so that's kind of like what I think about whenever I'm in my cycle class is just Take it easy. If I start to feel a little bit uncomfortable, I'll usually get off the bike and go to the restroom, empty my bladder, get back on the bike, and just sit and really, really ease back into what they're doing at cycle. So I think as long as you're really good at listening to your body and knowing what's normal to you and maybe not normal, then you can continue doing exercise. So hopefully I will be able to cycle up until I give birth. That's the goal. I really feel very proud of myself. I just thought for sure that as soon as I got pregnant, my health was gonna go down the drain. I 
just thought for sure by looking at other people and hearing from other people's experiences that I was gonna get pregnant and everything was just gonna start growing and getting bigger and I was gonna be really unhappy with myself when I looked in the mirror and I was gonna feel really unhealthy and tired and run down and you know, like the aches and pains that can come with pregnancy. And I will say that me like pushing myself to like remain active, go to cycle and only seeing like the weight gain in my belly, my arms look the same, my legs look the same. I'm so proud because I can honestly sit here and tell you that I did not expect that for me. I did not expect that for me. I truly believed that just, it was gonna be really hard. And that hasn't been the case for me yet. And I'm just so proud. Like I, I'm not dieting obviously because I'm pregnant. That's like a big no, no. You don't do calorie deficits when you're pregnant. You actually need 300 more calories a day while you're pregnant. But I'm just eating what feels good for my body. I haven't felt deprived. I haven't felt like I overindulged. I just feel like I'm living my best life. I feel the best I've ever felt pregnant compared to when I was not, which is just wild to me. It's like the universe is giving me this gift because of everything I had to go through to get here. And I'm just so proud and I love it so much. And that just got really deep, but I'm just being honest. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some products I got. Matt and I went to Target one night and I had to mosey into the baby section. So I really wanted to focus on getting more newborn things because the clothes that I have gotten, I've gotten three to six months or zero to three months. And I haven't gotten like the very much of the new newborn type clothes because you hear so many people say, don't buy a lot of newborn clothes because they'll barely wear them, but literally, all of my friends that have had babies or people I've talked to recently that have babies are like, I am having to Amazon Prime newborn clothes because I listened to what people told me I didn't get enough newborn clothes. So again, it just depends on your baby, but unless I give birth to like a nine pound baby, then the, he's gonna be in newborns for a reasonable amount of time. So I got this newborn onesie set. I had to get it because my husband is in the construction industry and it has this little concrete truck that says tons of fun that I thought was so cute. And then it was actually two onesies and some pants. So this is the other onesie and it has just like little construction stuff on it. Adorable. Oh, it's not focusing. Adorable. And then the pants on the back. I have this little dump truck on the butt. Isn't that cute? So I got this from Target. It's really cute for little boys in general, but because Matt is in the construction industry, I'm like, wow, that's so cute. So I had to get it for daddy. And then I got this three piece set of Cloud Island newborn pajamas. So they're actually footed pajamas, nice neutral colors. So this is just striped and it has the little hand pockets where you can tuck their hands into. Just newborn zip up footed PJs because I know my boy is probably gonna be wearing pretty much all that. This is cute, has little porcupines. And then this is just gray spots. I would have got like three sets of these and just called it a day, but they didn't have very many colors for boys. Go figure, the struggle of being a boy mom. If you know, you know. And then right behind me, I wanna show y'all. My mother-in-law went and visited Magnolia Market in Waco and she got the baby this little fuzzy little llama, which is so cute. It's so soft, so I just can't wait to like give it to him and like let him cuddle with it because it's literally the softest little stuffed animal that I've like ever felt. So I thought that that was really, really cute and I wanted to show y'all. And then uh, for Matt's birthday, I got, I got him birthday gifts, but then I also got some like cutesy stuff for the baby boy. I got him his first little Green Bay Packers jersey. It's a one, onesie 
And on the back, it just says Packers. Matt is a big Packers fan, loves the Packers, so he loves seeing that whenever he opened them up. And then I got these cute little Green Bay Packers. They kind of look like Converse. So cute. And they just say Packers on the side. I think they had like every NFL team, but this is made by a company called Baby Fanatic. I have a list on Amazon that's called Biddy Burr, and it's like basically things that I get for the baby off of Amazon. This one's a little big, but I did want to show you. Our friends Drew and Addie got us this little sit-up chair for the baby because they have a four month old little girl and they said that whenever she was starting to be able to sit up and stuff, that was like her favorite thing to be in because she didn't want to lay flat anymore. She wanted to like sit up, see what was going on. So they got us that seat and I'm very thankful that they got it because it actually wasn't on our registry. And they said that too. They were like, we know it's not on your registry, but our baby loves it and we just had to get it for y'all because it's her favorite thing. Um, so I'm excited to have that because I didn't even, I registered for the Bumbo, but nothing like that. And I think that that's going to be really, really nice whenever I have to like get stuff done and just put him in his cute little seat. And then I just ordered some baby hangers off of Amazon. It came with a set of 50. I have the rest over there. There's a ton of them, but I just got these non-slip velvet hangers from Amazon. And then the last thing that I want to show y'all is what is in my latest bump box. I love getting these bump boxes. So the first thing is this little back massage little thing, which, oh my God, I'm going to make Matt do this to me tonight. It feels so, so freaking good. I got these to go spa coconut lip lip treatment. So it has collagen, amino acid, and vitamin. And every product that Bump Box will send you is like highly rated like pregnant mama favorite products. And then also they are non-toxic obviously and pregnancy friendly. Oh, these are cute. So it's basically three little lip masks that I can do to pamper myself. It'd be really nice to do like before I go into the hospital or before I give birth or even take them to the hospital because I have heard that your mouth and your lips get really, really dry in labor. So that will be really good. Thank you, Bump Box. Much needed. And then I got something along the lines of these last time in my Bump Box, I'm pretty sure. But they're really good to have because with your like growing stretching skin I, and I've also had like dry patches as well this will really come in handy so this is an after spa exfoliation body scrubber for your whole body I love how big it is too so it's basically just like a exfoliation sponge so I probably will I already exfoliate like once or twice a week but I could just go in with my uh, sensitive skin soap that I use exfoliate and then whenever I put like my butters on my oils on that'll be really really nice and then bump box sent me this really cute really cute little coffee mug and my first bump box I got a coffee mug and it said hashtag mom life and this one says coffee chaos and cuddles I like the size too so I'm not like doing huge coffees these days um but yeah so cute it has like a little navy blue rim super cute i'm a sucker for cute mugs and then the last thing i got in my bump box was this really really cute tote and it says keeper of the snacks which is what i'm gonna be here pretty soon is the keeper of the snacks i love the color i love the size of the toe i just love a good tote you know save the planet use less plastic Okay guys, so that is it for my symptoms. That's it for my products. Like I said, I got so much for some reason in the past two weeks. A lot of it is products, but also like nursery stuff. So if you're interested in seeing my baby's nursery, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. So before I end this video, as usual, I'm going to show you my updated bump shot. We got his dresser put together, by the way, and I got these knobs. I shared all this on my Instagram. I got some drawer divisor, dividers, shelves. Y'all, I got so much stuff. I can't wait to show y'all everything. But anyways, 
here is the bump. You can tell that I'm pregnant and I love every single minute of it. Looking super pregnant. Y'all, it's kind of pointy too. I'm telling you, he just kind of busted out this week. Um, yeah, that's my boy. It's kind of interesting how pointy it is. From the front. Whoa, I look really pregnant from the front. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love it. Other side. Woo! Okay guys, that is it for this video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you for watching this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better.